Back on the show, Don Fields back with us once again. You know it's Friday morning. Don, it is Friday morning. Yeah. What you got for us today? I got some fun stuff today. Do you? Cool. Yeah, I've got some. You know, I've shown squats a bunch of different ways, yeah. and and I forget more than I remember. <laughs> Um, but these, you know, there's a very safe way to do squats at uh -huh. home with one of the big exercise balls. And you know, there's, you know how I've been doing everything in a series, in a, in right. a, in a, in a circuit type of deal. Right. Well, there's a way to do squats and leg curls uh, for your hamstrings and abdominals all in a row using one little of uh, the exercise ball. So we're going to go through that today. Okay. okay. One of the interesting conversations that I had this week, with, and it seemed this subject, I don't know if everybody's trying to tell me I'm getting old or what, but it seems like the old conversation, you know, getting older has come up the entire week. Hey, he was called older this week. Old. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the interesting old. thing that happens with exercise, and this, this is important because there's things that happen to your body mm -hmm. that get to the point that you really can't and shouldn't do certain things that you used to be able to do. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, the day when I used to be able to jump up on that big box with no, they have come and gone. I uh, know what you're and, talking and about. And there's a lot of reasons for that. And mm -hmm. people need to understand the reasons that you can't do that. And uh -huh. there's reasons why that it's really not safe to do <laughs> that. You know, as you get older, it's not a matter of Don't you, be stubborn, right? Well, yeah, and it's not yeah. a matter of you, you're, not, you're not doing it anymore. It's a matter of your body can't do mm -hmm. it. It's not appropriate. Well, yeah. because yeah. your muscles, ligaments, and tendons become less pliable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I rolled up my left calf when I was about 42, 43, doing exercises with my teenage athletes, mm -hmm. which I had done for 20 years. Right. right. But the problem was the elasticity of my ligaments and tendons and muscles were not as it used to be, even though when you exercise, your muscles get bigger and so do your ligaments and tendons. Mm -hmm. They were still big, they were still trained, but they were not as elastic as they, they used, used to be. be. Is right. this a men's ego issue? Or no. did you see it in women <laughs> Okay, as understand well. women have the exact <laughs> same problem. The point that I'm bringing is not that I can't do it and that bothers me. My point is there are some exercises that are out there that are not safe. Right. High impact aerobics for an older female is not a good idea idea for the exact same re reasons because their ligaments and tendons and muscles are not as elastic as they used to be. Mm -hmm. There are also some internal problems that females have as doing a high impact type of thing as you get older. So there's a long list of things that you really need to look at like when we did the series of workouts through your ages, you know, right, through right. the ages. Yeah. As you get older, less about the strength, yeah. less about the explosive. Mm -hmm. I mean, your nervous system to your muscles, fast twitch and slow twitch, change. Mm -hmm. You know, what used to be fast twitch, the slow twitch system takes over and it is now a slow twitch muscle. So you don't right. need to feel bad about having no. to do it much slow, and slower. You need, and what you focus on is what I've said all along, health. You want to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Don't pay attention to the biggest loser or blah, blah, blah. Be healthy. Right. Blood pressure is correct. Heart is good. Blood you know, sugars are good, those types of things. You be want healthy to be able first. to do the activities that you enjoy doing. Exactly. As you age. Feel good about it. Yes. Right. Okay. All right, when we come back, we're going to go through the workout. As right? we come back, we're going to have some fun. Oh, boy, can't wait. Let's take a look at our community calendar. All right, we're back on the show. Okay, Don, let's okay. get to it. Legs. One of the things, what I like about this, this series that we're going to do right now, mm -hmm. the only thing you need 
is an exercise ball and a, and a wall. wall. Mm -hmm. You don't okay. need anything else. And, you know, we talk about forever, you know, the depth and mm -hmm. where you are and what you can handle. This is literally your body weight and you have the ability to put you on this squat so that there's no pressure on your knees whatsoever. All so right. let's get you okay. in position like we were before. Step up here in the front. Okay. All right. Feet Feet like way it. up high. Now the ball. Spread it out. But yeah. you would just need a wall at home. And a, right. Wall. And a wall. So he's going to lean back against the ball. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Here's the ball. Put your feet way out in front of you. Okay. I like that. A little bit more. A little Don't bit more out in front of you. Keep going. More. Keep going. Feet All out in front right. of you. All right. Lean back against the wall. Head and chest is up. All right. Weight on your heels. Squat down. Squat down. And come up. Okay. Keep the weight on your heel. Now, gotcha. here's the good weight thing. Weight on about the heels. This. Here's the good thing. With the weight on the heels, it takes the pressure off sure the knee does. and the lower back. Mm -hmm. But secondly, if you have back issues, mm -hmm. this ball is square into your lower back, so it's actually supporting, supporting. it as you're going. Mm -hmm. Right. But at the same token, because you're not just doing body weight squats, mm -hmm. you have to keep your abdominals tight, which is also working your lower abdominals. Yeah. Right. So this as he's still, working right still now, a very good yeah, workout. right now he's working his quads, which may be starting to burn right about now. Oh, yes. And the same token, he's working his glutes, mm -hmm. okay? He's working his lower abdominals right. and actually abdominals all the yeah. way through. Mm -hmm. And he's working his spinal erectors and his lower back. Head and chest is up, weight is on his heel, pressure's right. off his knees, pressure's off his back. So you're getting the ability to <laughs> do your squats. Would you like to stop now? Uh, well, yeah. This is a great time. Can I? <laughs> oh, it's excellent. Yes, you can. Now, okay. as you get better, if you want to make it harder, you could actually hold on to weights, mm -hmm. put weights on your back, mm -hmm. so that you increase what you're doing. And, you know, we do this type of exercise in a Smith machine where you lean back against it, and it's called a sissy squat. So the further out you go with your feet, the more mm -hmm. you're working your quads, the less you're working your glutes. Really feel it's the burning. burn. Right. You're burning it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go home and now, do that. The next thing we're doing is okay. this. We're going to do hamstrings. Hamstrings are the back of the leg. Right. And that is a difficult exercise to work at home because understand it is the flexion of the heel towards your behind is the only thing that your hamstring does. It's like when you do curls, you're working your biceps, its only job is to adduct the hand towards the chest. Mm -hmm. That's what it, now, hamstring is the same way. So you can do straight-legged deadlifts and all these types of things right. that they say supposedly works your hamstrings, but in reality, physiologically, it does not work because you have to bring your heel towards your behind in order to engage the hamstring. the hamstring muscle. Okay. So what I want you to do is lay down on your back, please. All right. With your head this way and your feet this way. Okay. Put your feet up on top of the ball. Yep. Put your feet up on top of your ball. Okay. Now. I'll try not to kick you, Francis. Uh, I'm going to say this right now before we get going. If people, because I've heard a lot of people do this at home. Hamstrings are something that a lot of people right. neglect, and so they're very, very weak. Mm -hmm. So to start with, you need to do something very easy. Sure. Put your heels on the ball. Heels on the ball. Okay. You need to do something easy, which is pull the ball to your body with your heels mm -hmm. and push them back out. And keep going. Just keep doing that, right? right? Because a lot how far of people, do you bring? How far do you come in? As far as you possibly All can. All right. Because a lot of people doing this, this is not a motion you do in an everyday thing. Right. You know, stepping up and down chair stairs and those types of things. You're working your quads. You're working your glutes. You're working mm -hmm. your abs. But your hamstring is only an assistant muscle. In other words, it keeps the quadricep in balance. This works specifically on the muscle <laughs> itself. As you get better to make it harder, put your hands flat on the floor, raise your hips up off the ground, keep your feet where they are, just raise your hips up and pull the ball to you. Oh, yeah, and then working. take it back Hilarious. and then put your oh, hips yeah. down. Bring your hips back up, pull it back to you. Now here's the bonus about doing it this way. Along with working your hamstrings, and now you actually have resistance against your hamstring, Absolutely. you are also working your core because you have to balance yourself with this. Mm -hmm. Squats, hamstrings, there they are. You got it. And this is at home and this is simple. And you can do the same thing we've done before, 40 seconds on with a 10 second to get readjusted, go for five, six sets. We got a good shot of the back of the bottom of my uh, shoes hey, here, by shoes the way. shoes look good on there. I like They that. do look good, don't they? All right. I thought you were gonna say the bottom of something else. There, there we go. <laughs> that too. Right, Donna, it was wonderful.
Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Don. We'll see you again next Friday. I'll be here. Back in the kitchen in just a minute. Stay with us.